rut row. All right, the table is obviously not strong enough. <laughs> What's up everybody, I'm John. I'm Isaac. And for the first time ever on Cars and Cameras, we are building a mini bike from scratch. The goal is basically a mix between uh, a vintage, old school, full suspension mini bike uh, and a Honda Z50 with touches of modern refinement, performance, and design. It's pretty much our own design but we're using like the, the Honda 50 as uh, the size we want because it fits me and it fits John. And that's what we're using it for. Exactly, but we're gonna use kind of our own design and, and design that we've seen from photos online. We're hoping this is gonna be a simple, straightforward mini bike build. So I will be linking all of these parts in the description of this video uh, if you wanna check them out for yourself. But we have a pretty sweet lineup. So laid out on this table is the majority of the parts we're using on this project. And again, we're looking at kind of capability in a small package with like refinement. So we're talking front and rear brakes. We have some eBay specials. Um, pit bike wheels with front brakes. We have a Monster Moto Springer front end from GoPowerSports.com. Uh, GoPowerSports throttle cable, grips, all your odds and ends pretty much are from GoPowerSports.com. We have a Facebook Marketplace special here, $20. Honda Z50 tank. I love the patina this tank has. And my favorite feature about this entire bike, right here. We're gonna be rubber mounting the engine. We don't know if it's gonna work, but uh, yeah, gonna try to take some of the uh, vibration and harshness away from this mini bike by adding these rubber engine mounts. And on top of that, we have a Springer seat with an awesome uh, diamond stitch pattern. This was also eBay. Uh, and then you come around to the rear and we have another pit bike wheel with a rear drum brake. Did I cover all of it? So we're talking front suspension, rear, Rear suspension with this shock, it might not work for us, but we're gonna try it. A seat with springs in it and rubber engine mounts. Don't forget the kickstand. And a kickstand from it's Go Power Sports. It's the most important part. So the power, the power plant for this build is gonna be a Tillotson 212 electric start. Uh, because we're just going all out refinement. If you we're, like the design we end up going with, what's that? Where are we gonna put the battery? I don't know, we gotta figure that one out. If you like the design we end up going with, feel free to build one for yourself or let us know in the comments if you want us to make some plans for you to copy. But uh, yeah, I mean, you obviously don't have to go with like rubber engine mounts and a spring or seat, but we thought we would uh, throw all the bells and whistles at this project. So let's move on to the design. And in case you were wondering, our mock-up engine is a 196, the one that we found frosted flakes in that uh, came off our $20 Crusher mini bike. So first things first, we're gonna work on our head tube. Our head tube is gonna be what hooks our forks up to the frame of the bike. So I'm gonna have to make a couple of incisions here so I can fit our roller bearings in the head tube. Sounds good. Got some good news? Yeah, sure. So I've got this uh, ready. I have welded it together. These bearings fit in there very snug. You have to hammer them in and hammer them out. Um, the only thing I have left is I want to put a collar right in the center of the two bearings. So when we tighten things up, it won't uh, put unwanted load on the bearings for you know premature failure. Right. So I'm, I'm right there, man. And yeah, this is a little bit rigged up, but hey, we don't have a full on machine shop. We don't even have a lathe right now. So yep. that's what's gonna work for us. And the nice thing about that is that you won't lose your bearing down in the hole. Yeah, because if you look in there, it's there's got a, a, shoulder. a shoulder. Keep
keeps the bearing from going down in there too far. So Sounds good, man. Let's get that installed and we can start working on our frame. All right, man. I have everything welded up. I have the first bearing hammered in. I've got my little sleeve here. Drop it in the hole. Now all I have to do is hammer this thing in place. Rut row. All right, the table is obviously not strong enough. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to the floor. That's it. So here's the neck or the head tube, and here are the forks. They're gonna fit. Yeah, the cool thing about those forks. Yeah, check it out. When when you undo these pinch bolts, they're adjustable. Pretty sweet. That is sweet. So. Bam. Yeah. Feels nice and smooth. It does, buttery, as you like to say. So we can put a lock nut on that puppy and start building frame. Exactly. So the nice thing about having the collar on the inside is I have tightened this bolt up. As tight as I can tighten it. And we still have movement here. Yep, it's still smooth, which is exactly what you want. The only thing I don't like now, it's gonna bother me. Might have to drill a hole and do a little uh, rosette. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I put a nut in there to try to keep the, the collar. The problem with the collars is when you take the bolt out, the little collar can shift and then you can't get the bolt through. So I was like, I put a nut in there and the collar will, right in the center of the nut and it won't go off to the side. Oh, there it is. Fixed. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna have to probably uh, do something about that. All right, so this is a mock-up of basically what we want the bike to look like. Hopefully better, but you know, the engine where it's, it's supposed to be, the seat where it's supposed to be, the front fork where it's supposed to be. We're still working on the rear suspension where it's supposed to be, and I'm working on that right now. And John is fixing to work on the down tubes. That's right, so the lower part of the frame, two tubes going down to each side of the motor mount. Let's get her done. about to weld the down tubes to the engine plate. Hopefully it'll turn out pretty good. Sounds good. Had to do a little bit of trimming down there to get that fitment right, but dang, it's time to tack. Anytime you're welding, grinding, doing anything at home, be sure you don't have an open engine next to whatever you're welding or grinding. But since this engine trash is trash, it'll be fine. I'm gonna start down here, go up there, go over here, go over there. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. Cover. Yep. We have a pretty gnarly gap here between the top of the frame and our head tube. So I'm going to put some thicker welds here and then we're going to cut a V into here and we should be able to push them together to get it to match up here a little bit better. Ready? Yeah. Got it.
Standard. Yeah. Should do it for us. So the lower front half of the chassis has been tacked in. Looks good, I gotta say. And now we need to figure out where we're placing our jack shaft, which is a very pivotal piece on this mini bike, pun intended, because it's not only the jack shaft, but it's also where our swing arm is going to pivot. So I used our Crossfire Pro CNC plasma type table, which is awesome, by the way. Uh, you can get a hundred bucks off one of these puppies if you want to. Just uh, check out links in the description of this video. And I cut out some rear axle mounts inspired by uh, Honda Z50. So I'm gonna get those in place, tack some tubes onto them, and then we can figure out our jack shaft area. So while John is working on that, I'm mocking up our engine so we know the location where the chain is going to be coming off so we can build our jack shaft. It turns out that the magic number for small wheelbase mini bikes is around 36 inches. So we figured we would push it one inch, because why not, just for a little bit more stability and performance. So I have this piece that I cut out and I uh, cut it so that it would fit perfectly in our one inch tubing here. I'm going to cut it right there, I'm going to do an identical one. And then we're going to figure out how we're going to mount it to our jack shaft. Alright, that's looking pretty good to me, dude. Yep, so we cut out our top frame rail here. We're going with a single backbone. We were gonna do double, but it's just gonna work better with our fuel tank uh, and with how the whole design is going to work. Uh, so we have one and a quarter outside diameter tube. Got it fish mouth to the front there and it looks pretty good. Not bad. So what's next? Well, we got a uh, down tube from the back. Yep, so we're gonna build a nice curved rounded piece that's gonna join right here. We're gonna build our jack shaft in this area as well. We are gonna do the bend from the top of the frame joining the bottom of the frame at the rear and it's gonna be a nice gentle uh, bend to it, kind of like the contour of the tire. Yeah. So, uh, It'll give us more room for compression of the rear tire, and it'll just look cooler. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty sweet, man. See if it fits. Hammer. Come on, man. Need a hammer? Pretty sweet, man. A little worried about that valve cover. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty sweet. So maybe we ought to just kind of chill here and uh, wait till we get our final engine. Wait till we get uh, the final engine with the valve cover. Yep. And all that stuff. That looks pretty sweet. Yeah, it does, man. And we were thinking for suspension, it's going to be difficult to run a single. Uh, a single shock here because well now we have backbone so we were thinking about doing uh shocks on the side kind of like on a z50 or maybe a cantilevered shock that's uh parallel up here with this upper tube or maybe even shocks mounted down here so we're not really sure we'd like to have something a little different definitely so uh we'll 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 just kind of wing it yeah but dude this build is off to an awesome start
Not bad. Man, it looks like it's going somewhere just sitting still. Exactly. So the first ever Cars and Cameras custom-built mini bike is going pretty well so far. I mentioned this to Ike earlier, but any like aspiring fabricators out here, you will learn a lot from building something like this your first time rather than a big vehicle. I would highly recommend starting with a simple mini bike as your first project, especially something with suspension because you're going through the same like critical thinking here as you are with a big project. It just happens over the span of a couple of days or a couple of weekends rather than like six months. But you still have problems to solve with how you're gonna mount your jack shaft, how you're gonna mount your suspension, uh, how you're gonna set up your frame. All that stuff is the same. Uh, it's fun though, dude. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, usually on a custom built project on day two or three, we are still looking at a blank piece of floor and we're arguing about how to start. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad that we are here uh, at this point. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this episode. And um, yeah, let us know what should we title the Cars and Cameras mini bike. Uh, and subscribe to Cars and Cameras for future updates on our, all of our other projects, fabrication, Z50, mini bikes, go karts, all that stuff right here on Cars and Cameras. Uh, if you like what you see here, you can check out all these parts at links in the description of this video. We have a little bit of Amazon, a little bit of eBay, a lot of gopowersports.com. Uh, of course, anytime you place an order with gopowersports, let them know that Cars and Cameras sent you. If you want to help support our channel, go to our website, cars cameras dot com and pick up some merchandise and check Ike out at Isaac it'll be fine on YouTube and Instagram thanks for watching again guys we have some parts to order uh, but it's really heating up already catch you next time thanks again for tuning into this episode everybody we just have a few clarifications to make and a big announcement to make as well so I know we said that this was kind of a simple mini bike build that uh, anybody can do and then we continue to use really nice pieces of equipment like the Rogue Fab Bender and the uh, Langmuir Systems Crossfire Pro. The reality is you don't need these special tools uh, in order to build this mini bike. You can go get a conduit bender from Lowe's and bend tube like that as long as it's thin enough and you can cut out all the pieces by hand. But these specialty pieces of equipment definitely make the job faster and you uh, get better results as well. Um, so if you don't have room or can't afford these tools, you can still build a mini bike like this. You're just going to spend a little bit more time uh, building it and making it nice. Um, that being said, you could also straight cut all your pieces. You don't need bends. I think this mini bike looks better with, uh, with bends in the chassis as well. So I just wanted to throw that out there for anyone considering building uh, a mini bike. You don't need these tools. They just help you build it faster and better. Uh, the uh, announcement I have to make is that Ike and I are starting a podcast at the wheel with Cars and Cameras. Our first show is going to air live here on the Cars and Cameras YouTube channel Thursday, April 1st at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern, Eastern time. time. That's right. We are uh, starting off with how to buy old go-karts and mini bikes 101. How to find them, how to get a good deal, what to look for, what to avoid. Uh, so be sure to tune in for that again live on the Cars and Cameras YouTube channel. But if you miss it, no worries. We are uploading it afterwards to a second channel at the wheel with Cars and Cameras. So go ahead and subscribe to our second channel there so you don't miss any uploads. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll catch you next time. Maybe that thing ought to be given away as trophy parts. Yeah, I mean, it's not good for much else. I mean... Maybe the only thing good on it is the coil and the crankshaft, maybe? Yeah. Maybe the flywheel? We could have used that crankshaft on our last build. Oh, you're totally right. And it was right there the whole it time. It was right there.